Hi, this is Peter from PowerDirectorTutorials.com. I'm here to show you how to add a logo or a watermark to your video. So here's a video I've prepared earlier and you can see the logo in the corner there. So that's what we want to do. Kind of like branding your videos. So head over to PowerDirector and import a video Add that to the timeline on the video track. And next we want to actually create the logo. We do that as a PIP object. So click the icon here, create a new PIP object from an image, source your logo. It can be a, a bitmap, JPEG, GIF, whatever. Make sure the background is a single color. Doesn't necessarily have to be white. Okay, as you can see here, it's imported. The background has been detected and made transparent. If your background is not transparent, we can apply a chroma key. Check this box here, click the eyedropper, click the background, then click close. I don't need to do that for mine, so I'll leave that unchecked. If you want to create a watermark, we can go to head over to the second tab here and increase the transparency. So that's it. Hit OK, give it a name. And here's our logo in the PIP objects room. Now we add that to the timeline on the PIP track. And then we drag it to make sure it's the same size as the video. Alternatively, you can right click on the logo, align to edge, align right, extend to the right edge. So there's our logo. If your logo doesn't show up, just click on the video track and then click on logo. Alright, we can resize that and move it around. So that's how I want mine. So that's it, you can just uh, head over to produce and make your video. Just one last tip, if we head over to the PIP objects room, back to the logo. If we're going to be reusing this logo over and over again, you will have to keep uh, moving it to the corner and resizing it all the time. A better way is to make sure you uh, set up your original PIP object. So we do that by right clicking the PIP object and modify templates. And just move it to it where you would want it in all your videos and resize it. So that means when you add it to your video, it will automatically be in this position in your video. So that's it. If we just have a look at the video. So that's it really, quite easy.